Welcome back to the Getting Started with OpenScope MZ video series. I'm Sam Kristoff from Digilent, and in this video, I'll show you how to update the firmware on your OpenScope MZ. So you can see I have my OpenScope connected to my computer via USB, and uh, you need to be connected through uh, via USB to update the firmware, and you'll need to use the Digilent agent to connect and upload the firmware. So I will right click on the agent and then choose Launch Waveforms Live. And in the previous video, I added the agent and the OpenScope MZ to Waveforms Live, and that's stored in the browser. So it remembers it and it'll be there every time that I launch this browser, unless I remove it. You can see in the upper right corner, the device has a little eye icon that's alerting me that there is a firmware update available. So I can go ahead and click that to update the firmware, or I can click the more button and choose configure and see that the firmware version I'm on is 0.185.0, and I could click Update Firmware here. They both take me to the same place, so since I'm here, I'll click it here. Uh, again, this shows the current version of the firmware, the latest version that's available on the servers, and lets me choose a version to update to. So I'll update to the latest, 0.428.0, and click Update. So Waveforms Live is going to send the hex file down to the agent and the agent will flash it onto the OpenScope MZ. And as soon as that's done, it'll just let me know that it completed successfully. All right, update's complete, so I'll click done. And now you can see my firmware version is up to 0.428.0. And if I click done, you can see that the uh, update firmware notification has gone away. So now my firmware is updated and you'll notice the blue LED is flashing. That means that the OpenScope MZ is booted up and ready to go, but not connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, 